Oh yeah, valuable drop. I got a hit with a tiny What this happened? Is moment of <laughs> this, is what this video is from a recent commercial bottom fishing trip and we fished really deep this time. Most of the fishing was done with electric reels, but I did bring a rod along to drop a jig. I have a rod that I specifically have set up to be able to fish for stuff with a jig really deep. I've got 50 pound braid on it so that I can touch bottom up to, you know, probably 1200 feet. We obviously weren't fishing that deep this day, but I brought some fish up from greater than 500 feet, which is a long way to hand crank them. Anyway, Mostly electric, but I put together some of the jig catches in a video, and I hope you enjoy. Tight! Tight! Does not feel very big. <laughs> now this race, I know I'm not gonna win. I don't know, Talica is pretty fast though. B-liner. What'd you say, Wyatt? You said, okay. Uh, B-liner. No, not really. Not a bad one. That first fish I brought up is a vermilion snapper. You'll mostly hear us call them bee liners. Better than cranking up an empty hook. Yeah, but I'm not going back down right now. So I got my one fish on the jig, but I decided I would switch to an electric reel with some bait and catch a few fish on that since we weren't bringing up anything too crazy at this spot and I didn't want to waste my energy catching them on that jig. What you're seeing me do here is making an attempt at hooking multiple fish on that rig before I bring it back up because it takes a long time to get to the bottom, a long time to come back up, a lot more efficient if uh, you can catch a few in one drop. Yep, so I've hooked my fish and decided that I'm gonna come up with whatever I've got on the rig this time. And pretty much what you do, you let that reel do the work and you hang out until it brings your fish up for you. I promise you do not wanna do this hand crank too many times. I'll eventually, at some point during this video, I'll leave an entire clip in when I crank one off the bottom by hand and you'll see just how long it actually takes to bring one of these fish up. That fish right there is called a snowy grouper. This is a pretty small one, and this is probably the second most common fish we catch during this day. Two snowies.
definitely not the large variety but i think uh when i went to what's it called front street grill i think this is what they're putting in my taco my grouper taco this this size snowy if it's grouper it has to be one that looks like this yeah i'm pretty convinced it was sea bass but it was good so i didn't complain years ago it had the exact same thing happen really? they got the tacos and they were like these can't be groupers <laughs> Initially, I was pretty disappointed with how long it was taking me to get bit on this jig because my brother is in the bow and Jackie is in the back of the boat and both of them have bait and as soon as they are touching bottom, I mean the instant their rigs hit bottom, they've got multiple fish on their hooks and this jig, I'm now with the power of editing, I'm seeing it took me uh, more than two minutes on the bottom before I finally hooked a fish on this jig and what I ended up doing was switching to a different jig and I'll explain a little bit about it uh, later on, but I switched to a different jig and that made it a lot better. Uh, I was starting to hook fish way sooner, but this is still that same jig that was not very effective, and later on I'll explain why. I got something. Doesn't feel very big at all. Unless it just hasn't woken up. Man, that's the babiest snowy. Wow. Good news is, you're about to be free. All right, you're free. Not, not ideal. This is a really small fish and obviously we would prefer to let these go if we could, but when you catch them this deep, there's so much barotrauma that you can't really release them. Oh no. Don't say that. Do what? Aw crap. Not looking good for the slow pitch right now. Eh? No, I might have something okay. Got it as soon as it, I didn't even get to. Mm -mm. But it doesn't, unless it's a really small AJ or he hasn't gotten angry yet, might be an okay fish. Yeah, I felt it eat it on the way down and I was like, oh no. But it's not pulling that hard. Whoa! Uh, wow, you got... Oh, I hope that's not what I have. <laughs> that's probably what I got. <sighs> yep. The deepest... Lesser <laughs> But Check that jump crap. He would get eaten. A wahoo would go on that thing's ass. <laughs> yeah, it would. I definitely had those fighting. <sighs> this guy right here is a lesser amberjack. We save it for bait because they're not worth anything, but I think that's actually the first one of those I've ever caught. Ah, oh, dang it. You were excited. I know you were. I got one more in me. And then I'm back to bait mode. Let's not, let's not talk about it too much. <laughs> then I'll be done. For a little while anyway. small come off of there oh he did come off nice there we go i think 
I have me a snowy. Not a not a big snowy, but it should be here. Yeah, there's the snowy. So here's that jig that I switched to, and this one was solid glow. The other one had glow stripes, so maybe that had something to do with it. But this was actually a lighter weight jig, which is why I didn't start with it originally, because um, it takes longer for it to get to the bottom. But I ended up catching way more fish on it, and I think it's because this jig was not as flat. And I think what was happening with that heavier jig is it would start to drop down straight, but then it would plane out once it got a little further away from the boat. And I think it was probably just planing out into no man's land out away from the fish. Because, I mean, if you're fishing in 500 feet or deeper, there's a lot of space between you and the boat that that jig can just drift off and end up landing way outside of the fish. And I think that's why I was probably having such a hard time getting bit. I think I'm going to go again. I don't see why not. I mean, that was a valuable drop. Hopefully I make it past the tinker mackerels. Last time I didn't, but I yanked it so hard that I got him off of it and then caught the snowy. Dang. This does not feel very big. Yeah. That's what I thought. For you. This one this one is definitely this one's different. I know, I'm trying to go back down, get underneath them again. I'm just glad he pulled off right there. Something. Missed a couple bites right there. There we go. It'd be so much cooler if they were in 200 feet. <laughs> Light flurries forecasted. Wow, he's got a little uh, squid beak coming out of his mouth. Surprise, surprise, that's another group reading squid. Right? I just got amberjacked. He ate the fish that I was reeling in. <laughs> this is not good. Yeah. I'm settling in, boys. Uh oh, I'm in you. I'm in you. Uh. I think I'm. Uh, uh, I still feel you. Your, oh, Lord have mercy. 
So that amberjack I hooked swam around Jackie's line while he was bringing a fish up. And what you're about to see is my light braid when that amberjack takes off is going to slice through his braid and his fish that is still on his rig is going to go sliding down my line to eventually make contact with this amberjack that I'm fighting. Oh. Yeah, that's... Well, you'll have, my, you'll have my fish on your rig when you get it up here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. No I, I saw that. I saw that it's happening. When he start taking off like that, I'm losing. <laughs> But now he's. Wait till that. Oh, I feel I feel the rig sliding, sliding down. down. <laughs> Wait till that sink knocks that amber jack head. He's gonna get mad. <laughs> Man, he was fighting really hard at first, but. Not much to him now. No, I see him. Maybe I lost him and I just have Jackie's rig now. That's exactly what happened. That's ideal. <laughs> cut whatever you gotta cut. Well, we'll never know if he was a nice one, but I think he was a nice one, but thankfully your D hooker <laughs> slid, slid down the line. Should I go for multiple or just? I got greedy and I lost mine. Nice little pair. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Valuable drop. <laughs> I got a small snowy. No. Oh, you got a hammerhead and a snowy. You got a hammerhead trying to eat the snowy. No, no, no. He's hooked. Oh, you're good. You're free. You're free. And you have your snowy. He's got a beeliner, though. Yeah, he did get your beeliner. You got the rest of it. getting harder to crank in. <laughs> so he's getting harder to crank in. He must be spinning. <laughs> I had a feeling. Oh, I had a feeling. What'd you say, Wyatt?
I said I would leave one in here full length so you could see how long it actually takes to reel one in. And uh, here we go. Enjoy. Either something small or I did another U-shaped <laughs> snowy grouper. Shaking its head a lot might be a bee hunter. video one hour of me cranking on <laughs> chest camera one hour deep drop <laughs> who will stay till the end freaking win somewhere in this video four catches <laughs> respectable there <laughs> oh scorpion fish he pulled exactly the same as the small ones It's, it's, it's what we got. Oh, oh no! Yeah, it's shot. definitely a tuna. You got your black fin bow. You now have experienced this what happened. This is a pure moment of recreation. <laughs> this is what happens. Oh, oh, oh those are finners. Oh, maybe it's a... <laughs> Run it all. <laughs> all right, well. It's just gonna be like a tail hook jack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Very silver. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you got hey, your bait. I asked for bait. You definitely got your bait now. Yeah. Yeah, so you had him like this. Yeah. Do you want me to hold him over there while he's bleeding or you don't? Uh, put him in my coat. <laughs> There's your recreational. That's my moment of recreation, Jackie. <laughs> 
We got some good bait now. Uh, yeah, I jumped that bus that that been underneath them. Okay. I probably grabbed that paper. Huh? I grabbed that paper. He might be worth more as chunks. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. That's going to be it for this one. I have plenty more footage from this day, and I'll end up uploading at least one more video at some point uh, of more more fish catching, more electric reel stuff. YouTube's not doing great right now, so I hope something changes and I start getting some views and making some money because things are not great right now. But if you watch this, I sincerely appreciate it, and I hope you watch a few more that I post.